Hey guys, TC me with TC Gaming. Uh, I wanted to get back into some of our RPG stuff. Thank you for staying tuned through the sequel. Um, we had a couple of questions in there that had to be answered, and now I want to get back into the RPG core. So now we're going to talk a little bit about um, functions. And in a function, what you can do is you can pass variables to other things that, uh, you know, where you want to just translate a bunch of information or whatever. So, um, an example of this we're going to use to update some of our attributes. So in this case here we're going to do one tonight that just uh, basically modifies our health. And uh, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do in here is we're going to have one for our base health. And uh, remember we had an I and a J before so I'm going to do a keyboard. And these you had these keys previously. You had them up in here in this I and J. I'm just stealing those to repurpose them down here. You can use any keys you want to. But uh, I'll go in here and say keyboard, Oop, if I can spell keyboard, and I want to get the I key, and anytime I press the I key, what I want to do is I want to go over here and say get, so I'm in my Greystone player character, and he has his AC attributes out here, and I want to get the health from that. And then I want to split this health because remember our health has multiple values. So what I want to see is I want to see my base health value. And I'm just going to do this into a, uh, actually we'll come out of here first and go print string. And we'll give it a, hit this little down arrow here and we'll give it like five seconds of display time. And what we want to do is our health base value is going to be the input string for that. And it'll give us a conversion node automatically. And so we're just going to say that anytime I hit the I key, I want to see what my current health is. So I got here, and it automatically is going to show me that 242 because we have a function there that's, uh, that runs on the beginning of the game to show us that right now. So if I hit the I key, I'll see my 242 there. It's my current health based on level and everything else. Now I want to write a function to be able to modify how much health I can add, or if I wanted to take health away. So I'm going to go into my attributes here for my AC attributes um, section. And what we're going to do is in here, we're going to write a new function that does all that handling. So you want to do this in the attributes component because you want to make this modular. And also it's easier to reference things that are inside of the component already without having to do a bunch of casting calls. So we're going to go in the AC attributes and down here under the functions, we're just going to hit the plus button and we're going to call this add health. And the nice thing about a function is you compile it and then you can add additional input pins to it. So in here, one of the things we want to get an input from is how much health we want to add. And so we're going to say amount to add. And the amount to add is going to be in the form of a float value because we're keeping track of all these variables in floats. So we can have portions of, right? And we're going to call this new param here. It's going to be called amount to add. I don't know why it didn't stay in there, but oh, what am I doing here? Must be the button I'm hitting. Amount to add. I think it's doing that because I had a local variable in there previously. No. Not sure where that's coming from or why it's not doing that. Um we'll just we'll just say um add amount. So it'll keep that. I had a, I was working on this earlier, so I have a variable stuck in here somewhere. Um, but anyway, under under add health, we'll have add amount, and it's going to be a float value. And when we're done with our function, we just want to say end function, or actually we want to return this value back. So just add a return node. And technically, your function could be right here, and nothing. It just won't do anything, but it's a complete function. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this add amount and we're going to add it to our health. So we come out to our health. First thing we want to do is we want to get our health. And again, remember, we can break this and get which health we want. Well, we're going to be modifying, in this case, just for the fun of it, a base value of health. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to add this to whatever amount 
somebody wants to add. So we're going to say over here, just hit the plus button. It's going to give us an add operator. And actually, we want this to be up in the bottom. And then you want to come off of here, and you're going to add that there. So what it's going to do is it's going to take whatever we input as the value and add that to whatever our current health is because we're getting our current base value health here. Now we add that to that. And in order for that to happen, we want to come over here, and now we want to say set our health. And again, we want to split this, and we're going to set our base value. So we want to set this health um oops yeah we want to come off of here into this pin and we want to go right there and on this side we want to split this so that we have a health based value value uh, spot that we go to here so what this is saying is add some amount of health to whatever the current health is plus whatever that amount we added and then set that as the new base value and return pretty simple now if we do that out here on the key press what that would look like here is if I use that J node I'm going to steal that again so I'm going to go keyboard J and every time I press the J key what I want to do is get the AC attributes component because that's what houses this function, right? So I want to go get that. And out of that AC attributes function, I want to say add health. So there's my function call. And see what it does here? It gives us a little amount to add. So I'm going to say the amount that I want to add whenever I press this key is 50 points. Not 0 0.50, but 50. So when I compile this and go and hit execute, again, I'll see my base value right now. I'm going to hit the I key a couple times. We'll see our base value is 242, and I'm going to hit the J key. I just hit it twice. Now it's going to go to 342. I'm going to hit the J key one more time. Now I'm at 392. Hopefully you can see these numbers on the left-hand side there. Um, they're pretty big, but I don't know if they're bright enough. So if we go over here, we can take our text color and... I'll make it like yellow. Yellow is usually pretty easy to see. Well, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Could make it red. Red's red is definitely easy to see. Yes, yeah, so there's your 292. I'll hit J again. Now I'm at 342. J again. I'm at 392. J again. I'm at 442. So on and so forth. Because I'm adding 50 every time I do this. Now, <clears throat> the other thing we could do is we can call this function from other places. So what we'll do is we'll go, we're going to create a new blueprint real quick. We'll just go blueprint class. This is just going to be a basic actor. And we'll call this like uh, health cube. Um, and inside of the blueprint for our health cube, we can go in here and say add a cube. So this is going to look like this. And then if we go out in the world, go to our map here and draw that cube out. Just lay that on the ground there. The other thing I did is I created over here. This is a player start, so you may not have one of these in your map. And if you don't, you just go down this little plus button and go to basic player start. And you can just drop one of those in there. That'll help you get to the same spot every time. And if this is up too high, you just hit the end key and it should pull it down. So now when we go and hit play, we'll start there. And we'll be looking at this cube over here. Well, if we walk up and do, you know, touch the cube, it's not going to do anything yet. But the functionality we're going to add in here is that every time I walk up to this cube, I get 50 more health points. Okay? So you can use this as like a healing fountain or, you know, whatever it is. You walk up there and you get this buff effect. Um, if you don't already have the buff effect, turn the buff effect on. You know, there's all kinds of different things you're, you'll end up using this type of stuff for. But in the health cube, um, now what I can do is highlight my cube. And I can also say add. And I want to add a uh, trigger. A box trigger actually so let's say box collision is the right word and we want to blow this up a little bit bigger so this is going to be let's say uh, five by five by five so we got a pretty good size box here and under the box we want to go in here and say um, look for the word hidden and we want to take off the hidden in game so we actually see this out in the world 
So if I look at it now, you can see I got this big old box around here. Well, what I want to do is every time my Greystone player character walks past through that little line, I want to add health to my character. <clears throat> so I can take my box and go down here to the bottom of the um, details panel, and here's all the different functions I can add. And, excuse me, the one that I'm going to add, my apologies, the one I'm going to add is just going to be on component begin overlap. So you just hit the plus button, and it'll pull up this new function for you. And we're going to say on component begin overlap, I'm going to say cast to um, cast to, and my character is called the Greystone player character. And if the other actor that overlaps this is Greystone, then what we want to do, we know Greystone has a component on him for health, so or an attribute component, so we want to pull this off and say get health. Actually, we, we want the component. Um, say get uh, AC underscore attributes. This is going to get us the owner that we don't want the owner. We just want the attribute component itself. And from the AC attributes, we're going to say um, we want to add that uh, health function. So we say add health. And add health now is that function that gets called. All right. So if we overlap Greystone to the box, go and get the AC attributes component, find the function called health, and set that health value on my character. So I'm going to add an amount here, and we'll just call this uh, 100. So every time I touch that box, I'm going to get 100 points. So if I go back here, hit the play key, and we look at my current health by doing these I and J nodes. So we can see that... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I... Um, what did I just do? I clicked on something. Hold on. Sorry about that. Alright, so when I get out here in the window, I should be able to hit the I key and I'll see my 242 health points. I'm going to go over here and collide with this box. And hit the I key and now I have 342. I go back into the box. I'm at 442. Every time I cross that trigger line, I'm incrementing my health by 100 points. So you can see, hopefully, how powerful these functions would be. We can pass values and parameters to them, and it's very simple to call add health 50 points, as opposed to saying all the other things we have to say to add that, which are currently sort of the function. Like instead of having to say, go get the health component, break that out, get the base value, add this amount to this, and that you know health here, and blah, blah, blah. We don't want to have to write that every time we want to add health. We just want to say add health 50, add health 100. Now what you can do is you can store those values on the object that actually provides the health to it. Just like I did with the trigger box, technically the trigger box is storing the value of how much um, health it adds back. But you could also have a, um, a thing in there that, uh, that does that for you as part of the handler. You know, that um, the weapon or the, the potion bottle could have a value in there for how many healing points it does. And you could pass that on to the value for the setter on this. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, you know, study this a little bit. We're going to be using some more stuff like this down the road. We're going to have to add additional functions for removing health. And we'll have a listener for finding out whenever our health's been changed. That way we can monitor our current health and see if we're dead and, and all that kind of stuff. And also just makes the game so much more flexible to program when you have all these functions that are already worked up for you to call. So... Again, my name is TC May with TC Gaming. Hopefully you guys are doing great, and we'll be bringing you some more videos in the RPG series soon. You guys take care and have a great night.